Get the hell out of my way! I got places to be! How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Now today I just downloaded a bunch of different mods and we're just gonna have some fun in this vehicle sandbox checking out some of them. Starting off with I have an Abishu 200 EX and uh, this is a pretty interesting car because it's actually electric. So yes, we kind of have a Tesla in uh, Beam NG. Now, I wanted to check this out because as you can see, well, first of all, it's silent, which is really, really weird. Secondly, if you don't know, uh, electric cars have an amazing amount of torque, so they can basically get up to full power right away. And uh, yeah, I'm quickly realizing that there's actually too much power in this thing. I was gonna go into the mountains, but I think this would be much better on the highway to see how fast we can go. But look at this, I'm like drifting all over the place and I hit a rock. Great. All right, now that we're on the highway, we can really let this baby purr, and I just want to see how fast we can go, so we're going to go into first person. Actually, we're not going to be able to see the speedometer then, so I guess we'll stay on the outside here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go full throttle and just see how quickly this thing can get up speed. Already 100 kilometers an hour, almost at 200 already. Uh, well, we're slowing down a little bit now. Oh my god, this is hard to drive. Okay, okay, this isn't good. This isn't good. I'm spinning out, going in a straight line right now. Come on, hold on to it. There we go. We're good. All right, I want to see how fast this thing can actually go. Obviously, it is a speed demon, and when I hit about 200 kilometers an hour, it just loses all traction, and that's what happens when you lose all traction at high speeds. That is an amazing car, man. That's got some serious speed in it. All right, and check out this. This is a totally new mod, and it is a camper in BeamNG. This one looks... Oh, my God. There's a, there's a giraffe poster inside the cabin. But you got you got to appreciate the detail of this thing. Uh, I'm more excited about totally destroying this because uh, I think there's going to be a lot of parts that get totally destroyed. Okay, that is not a real fridge. But the question is, do we have a bathroom? Oh, my God, we do. With a shower and everything, this thing's fully loaded, man. And that's just a closet there. And, of course, we got our kitchen and our front and our sleeping quarters up here. Gotta say, that is a damn good interior for our trailer. I did not mean to do that, but, uh, hey, that's what's gonna happen anyway. So, let's just take this thing down the road, and I think these two are gonna meet each other very, very quickly. All right, let's go and let's rip this camper in half, at least hopefully. I mean, that's the whole goal here. So, we're gonna try and keep this thing stabilized. It's not an easy car. Especially when we get to this speed. It's just all over the road. It doesn't have enough, like, downforce or something. Oh, God. Okay. Yep, I was supposed to hit that. Well, that didn't work out. But we did a sweet jump. All right, I doubt we're going to get better than this. Check out that speed over there. We're almost full throttle. I, I feathered the throttle a little bit. And this is looking good. I didn't want to hit the front. I wanted to hit right in the middle, but we did what I wanted anyways. Let's go over and appreciate all the uh, woodwork going on around the road right now. My god, that was actually really impressive. What the hell? I didn't mean to pause it there. I meant to speed it up. That's totally fine. If you want to stay in slow-mo, that's cool with me too. Uh, literally all we have left is the bathtub. That is, uh, that is it. All right, I feel like the Tesla was good, don't get me wrong, but it lacked the weight that it needs to really push this thing apart. So, uh, we're in the, uh, Gavril T Rammer here, and we're gonna give it another shot and see if we can really make this thing explode. So, going actually pretty fast. I was wondering how long it was gonna take to get up to full speed. Looks like we're doing rather good here. We're gonna slow this down and get ready for it. I am really well aligned this time. I don't want to hit the front engine compartment. I want to see if I can rip this right in half. So we're going right for that back wheel, and well, it didn't rip in half, but that was a much better shot than last time. Uh, yeah, is there... Okay, there's still wheels on the back, but this is much more destroyed. Even the bathtub is gone this time, and look at this thing. No damage at all. Oh, sorry. We are missing our front window. That is it. All right, so we'll stop that. Actually, we have a damaged uh, mirror as well, and that's about it. So something clearly hit. This thing... Wow, this thing actually still works. So yeah, we totally missed the front cabin, and that's where the uh, brains of our, our vehicle is. So it seems to be that it's totally fine. Just a little bit bent in the back. Just, just slightly. So, uh, somebody made a model rocket in BeamNG, which is awesome, don't get me wrong, but what's weird is they didn't make a rocket platform. So, 
It kind of just hangs out on the ground, but as you can see... Holy crap, this thing's got some serious speed on it, so, uh... I think this is more good for destroying vehicles than it is actually trying to be a rocket. Let's see if we can take this thing off, though. I'm gonna lift up the top. Don't break, don't break, don't break. I don't know if it's gonna be able to stand, so this might take a bit. All right, wait for the wobbliness to slow down, and then we're just going to drop it right on the ground here. This is, uh... This is a very thin rocket, though, so we're gonna have to go quick. Oh, that didn't work at all, but that's totally fine. Yeah, uh... It has the speed of a rocket, but my god, it doesn't stand up. All right, let's see what we can do with this thing, though. Okay, I had to make it a ramp because it likes to chill on the ground, and we're going to slow this down immediately. Let's drop it down to 16 times slower. Uh, no idea if this will work or not. We're gonna find out really quickly, though. Uh, literally, because this thing, it doesn't even say the speed, which is too bad. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Oh my god, it got stuck in the ramp. Look at how much it warped that ramp just by that little bit of speed and inertia. That, that's a bummer, man. I, I don't know how I'm going to lift this off the ground now. Okay, that looks perfectly in the center. Uh, my logic is maybe that ramp, because I had to manually place it, didn't work. So we're at the uh, OG grid map here, and uh, we're going to see if we can actually do it here, because this is really my only other chance to utilize a ramp. If not, maybe I can hold it in air. I have no idea. We're going to drop it down to 16, though. There we go. Perfectly down the middle here. Let's see. Does it crunch it? Not as bad this time. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to go right through. That was damn close, man. That almost went right through. It, it picked up some things behind it, though. And when I mean things, I mean the whole freaking camper came with me, to be honest. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit broken, but that was really, really cool. All right, let's just see if we can take this thing off with this ramp. I mean, holy crap, kind of. This thing is so fast. You can't even see the place anymore. And there is an edge to this map. I didn't know that, actually. This, this whole time since I've been playing this game, this map has always been here, and we've never found the edge. All right, I want to try something. Check out this bad boy. Beam Shopping Center. We got a shopping cart in BeamNG, guys. And this is an impressive looking shopping cart. I can't lie. What I want to do, though, is not that. Um, damn it. All right, if this doesn't work, my dream of taking a rocket cart to space is never going to become true. I gotta say, it's amazing how detailed this, this uh, shopping cart is, though. I mean, the wheels and everything just feel... Very shopping cart-like, which is, uh, kind of how it's supposed to be. I don't know why I'm so impressed with a shopping cart, but I am, so don't, don't, don't judge me. Anyways, let's try that. I think that's as good as we're gonna get it, boys and girls, so, oh my god, it just fell through. Damn it! Let's give her a shot, and that's totally not how I wanted it to happen, but can we destroy? Yes, we can definitely destroy the shopping cart. Oh my god, this poor thing, it is totally busted. Can't say I'm surprised though, I mean, it's attached to a rocket, so, uh, yeah, let's just take this right into the wall here. The, where'd the rocket go? It is totally gone. And to end off, I thought we would check out a couple scenarios in the High Def Stunt Show Academy. Now, this pack is basically just about crashes and big jumps, the best things in BeamNG. So I uh, started at some of the later ones, the jumping-focused ones, because I, I really want to do some good jumps. So in this one, we just have to hit a jump and make it into a car park or something. So we'll see that jump hopefully really quickly here and figure out what we got to do. I see something in the sky, so obviously we're just staying on this road and waiting for a big jump to show up. Speak of the devil, I think that's one right there. And there we go. I couldn't tell if that was a, a guardrail or a jump. Man, you can't get better than that, guys. I landed right on those cars and a complete success. All right, same idea as before. We got another jump. This time we have to jump all the cars. So we're in obviously a very lightened van right now. And looks like the jump's right here, so... We just have to do little jumps. Oh, 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 okay, that was a little bit too far. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm getting the hang of it now. We definitely want to slow down a bit on that jump. Technically, that was done, but I want to restart and actually do this right. So it's all about that speed on the first jump. We want to slow down at the end here. I'm going to slow down right now, and ooh, much better. That was a buttery landing, guys. That was real good. And did I go too slow? Damn it! I went too slow. I had to go full throttle on the second one. All right, another perfect jump. This time... We are making it over that second jump. Keep it going, keep it going, keep that speed up. Steering is broken, that's not good, but we kind of made it. Come on, keep on those wheels. Yes, that was, 
I mean, that's the ending you want in a stun jump anyways. Uh, my reverse gear isn't really working too well. I think it's that front wheel is totally broken. Yep, I'm just gonna have to get to the exit. This is gonna take a while. All right, come on, there you go. D ignore the other wheel, just keep using that one wheel. And we did it. At least I think we did. Is that another jump down there? Well, I guess we don't need to use that one. And the final jump map. This is technically jump three, by the way. I don't know why it says jump two, but I have to jump off the cliff onto the car pit. This one's tricky. Run up has a pretty big mound. Be careful over it and then floor it to the gap over the lower ridge. Don't forget to activate your nitrous system. Okay, so we're gonna need nitrous for this one. Looks like we got a little bit of a rocky start. So I'm gonna keep my nitrous until we get over that little hump that it's talking about. So we'll just go nice and slow and full power. Nitrous and everything. Oh my God. Okay, that was totally off. Oh, this is gonna be real hard. I didn't realize it was down that far. Gonna need a little bit more speed too, but that, that was a good tester. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. That was some good speed. We're a little bit off center, but... Oh, did I not get it? I'm just off. Like, look, you can see the glow of where I needed to land. Oh, this is looking good. That's it, right? That's not too bad. I didn't land directly on top of them, but that's a success in my books. All right, and uh, we're gonna show a couple more. This is a rooftop one, as it's called, but uh, oh, the only rooftops it is is on the tops of cars because that is absolutely awesome. This has been hard to do. It's taken me a few tries, so the fact that that went so well is damn impressive. Let's uh, take our time and get back to the front here. By the way, who has a driving school for monster trucks? I don't know if you noticed that, but we're in a driving school monster truck right now. Oh, yes, that was amazing. 10 points right there. Uh, I really wish this thing wasn't in the way. I'm not very good at driving monster trucks, as you might be able to tell. Totally just flattened my tire. Let's get to the end and just end this one. Uh, yeah, into the river we go. Yay. Wow, this thing actually floats. There's so much air in those tires, you can use this like a boat. Oh, I was supposed to do more? Well, that's not good. All right, and the final one is simply called Skittles. Now, I have to drive the truck through the stood-up buses. Yes, they're standing, I guess. Your target impact sh speed should be about 85 miles per hour to get through. Well, I'm in kilometers, so I think that's like 150-ish. So obviously we're gonna need a lot of speed. But yeah, I figured we'd end off with a crazy finale, some stood up buses. So it's basically like dominoes, I think. Now we're definitely not gonna be able to get too much speed here. How are we supposed to get, I don't know how fast 85 miles per hour is to be totally honest, but I know it is pretty damn fast in kilometers an hour, so. We're only going 85 kilometers right now. That's not good. We're gonna need some more damn speed. Well, we'll see if we can actually do it. These things are clearly standing up, as you can see, and uh, it's kind of beautiful, to be totally honest, but these things are gonna be hard to move. So get the hell out of my way. I got places to be. All right, so I was, I'm assuming we're supposed to go a little bit faster through that, but uh, we were able to make it through. I don't know what it's talking about. That, that worked well. All right, and on that bombshell, we're going to wrap up this episode of Beam NG Drive, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks so much for all your support. Uh, yeah, we just checked out a bunch of mods in this episode. And yeah, if you do want to download any of these mods, they should be in the description of this video. And yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking. Don't forget to ding that bell if you do want to be notified of my uploads, because we all know subscriptions don't really matter anymore. I'll see you in the next one.